Welcome to Luminex Whiteboard Wednesday. I am Art Weirs. I serve on the core leadership team of the region of the Great Lakes. And today I'd like to talk to you about the subject of holy risk. Some years ago, I got acquainted with Bob uh, Bauer and Kevin Harney, uh, who are two leaders in the Reformed Church that uh, God has blessed uh, with very effective leadership in helping churches go from decline to growth. And together they uh, wrote a book uh, entitled The U-Turn Church. In that book, they talk about holy risk. And it's really basic, but I believe it's foundational and powerful as leaders to listen to what they have to say about this. Uh, as you think about ministry, one of the things we encounter all the time, uh, whether the church is rather small or whether the church is rather large but plateaued and declining, is the issue of staying in that safe place, uh, staying in that place where we're more comfortable. And if we take any risk at all, it's going to be marginal. It's going to be risks that we consider uh, rather safe, where we won't be upsetting people or taking the risk of losing people. Uh, Bob and Kevin would say that's really not biblical. If you take a look at Scripture over and over again, when God is calling us to lead, He's calling us to lead based on God-sized faith. And by that, they, they mean that this venture that you're going out into in your ministry ought not be based on what I believe I can accomplish but rather what I believe I can only accomplish with God's help. That if I was to do it on my own merit, it won't succeed. That would be a holy risk that would be based on God-sized faith. They would also say that a holy risk would require God-sized prayer. So I can only imagine if I was in Moses' shoes with countless thousands of Israelites coming out of Egypt, and Pharaoh and his army bearing down on me, and I'm standing at the Red Sea, that I'm learning how to pray like I've never prayed before, uh, that I'm learning to turn to God and, and make an appeal in a way I've never made it before. And so both Bob and Kevin uh, in their ministries suggest that you got to get much more serious about what you're asking God for and how you're asking him for that that this needs to be something God would be honored by in terms of it's only what God can do. And then the third thing they would say about holy risk is that it requires God-sized sacrifice. Often as leaders, we're willing to take some risks and we measure those risks based on, well, you know, I only have to make a small sacrifice to accomplish that. And then we get very small results and we're disappointed. Bob and Kevin in the uh, book, The U-Turn Church, talk very specifically about if you really want significant results, you've got to get serious about what level of sacrifice you, you personally are willing to make as a leader. What kind of risk are you willing to make stepping out for the cause of Christ uh, that will demonstrate that you're making a God-sized sacrifice? I'd just like you to Take a good look at your leadership journey in the context of your ministry and measure your risk and then come back and think about, is it a holy risk? Thank you.